Are you too old to start a virtual expert business? No, you are not too old. But you know what? Only you can really make that decision. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer. I am business coach and trainer for virtual expert training. And I am 62. I know you probably can tell. I started my virtual assistant business and then grew it into a virtual expert business when I was 44. Yes, that is when I started my first business. And guess what? What one woman can do, another can do. If I can do it, you can do it too. So, it doesn't matter how old you are. It matters how old you feel like you are. Are you still feeling like, oh my gosh, I have so much value. I have so much wisdom. I cannot wait to share it with the world. And I know how much I can give to a business. Then you should become a virtual expert no matter how old you are. You know, here's the reality. In the corporate world, after the age of 45, and for sure after the age of 50, they don't want you anymore. They want the younger, less expensive people. So if you're past 45, and especially past 50, and you try to go out there and get a job, you're going to find a lot of closed doors. The good news is that online, with business owners and entrepreneurs hiring virtual experts, they don't care how old you are. They're working virtually with you. They don't care what color you are. They don't care what size you are. They don't care how old you are. They don't care if you have a degree, what the degree is in. You know what they care about? They care about if you can do the work. If you can do the work that you say you can do and you can meet deadlines, you can be a high paid virtual expert. You know, there was a study recently done and it was posted in Inc. Magazine, you know, INC Magazine. And they researched thousands and thousands of people that had started businesses to determine at what age people were the most successful when they started a business. And everybody thought going in that the most successful would be 30 somethings. And what the research discovered is that it's 45 to 50. When you first start a business between the ages of 45 and 50, that is when you are the most successful. I know I was pleasantly surprised because that's when I had started my business. So don't let your age hold you back. In fact, think of it as a benefit because you are wiser. You have more patience. You have more knowledge, you have more professionalism, you have more experience. And that is what a virtual expert needs. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, but me, am I too old? And believe me, I get it. Because there was a point just a couple of years ago when I thought, well, I'm turning 60. Am I getting too old to do this? And I asked clients and I asked business owners around the world, and they said, Heck no, you're in your prime. Why would you possibly quit? And so I had to do a little assessment of myself. And that's what I recommend that you do to determine if you are the perfect age to start a business. Not too young or too old, just right like Goldilocks. And here's how you do that assessment. This is my professional opinion based on helping hundreds of women and a couple of guys start their own businesses. So I highly recommend considering how much longer you want to work. Do you want to work another three years minimum? If you do, then starting a virtual expert business is a good idea. If you don't want to work three more years, then I don't recommend starting a business of any type because a business is not like a job. With a job, the minute you start, you make money, right? You start getting that salary. As a virtual expert, you're starting a business from scratch and you don't make money immediately. Now, a virtual expert does begin making money much faster than the average small business does simply because it's very easy to set up. It's very easy to get clients compared to other companies, other types of businesses, I mean. So on the average, a virtual assistant, a virtual expert can begin getting paying clients in about the second or third month. 
and then they can begin earning more and more. And by the end of the first year, they have most likely turned a small profit, okay? not necessarily a large one. So that first year, you're not really making a whole lot of money. Year two, yeah, that's a profitable year. So year two and year three is when you're going to make your money. And that's why I recommend you being um, at the point in your life where you want to work at least three more years or you don't want to start a business of your own. Now, if it's another kind of business, you need to talk to somebody who started that kind of business to see how long it takes you to get your business going and actually earning a profit in order to make that decision. But as a virtual expert, I can tell you three years is what I would recommend is the minimum to be able to make good money and profit after you started your business. Why do people 45, 55, 65 even want to start a business? Don't they just want to retire? Well, as a 62 year old, I can tell you, I am nowhere near ready to retire. I absolutely love what I do. I wake up excited every morning. I hope you can tell how much I love, I feel joy filled every day. And I think about what if I was retired and I was, you know, sitting around watching TV, knitting or whatever else it is that I would be doing as a retiree. And I just think how bored I would be and how I would feel like my life was almost over. Instead, I have this exciting, fulfilling life where I am helping others like you become more powerful, enjoy your life more, and I'm enjoying my life more. The other thing that you might love about doing this as you get older is that you still want to be able to contribute financially to your family. And as a virtual assistant or a virtual expert, you can contribute a lot more financially because you get to choose how much you earn and still have the flexibility to spend time with your family, to babysit your grandkids, to go to every event that they need to go to, or to pick up a sick child from school because you get to work when you want to work. What if you love to travel? One of the virtual experts in my group absolutely loves to travel. And she retired from a corporate job and began a virtual expert job so that she could still earn some extra money to add to her retirement. You know, sometimes you need that little extra money, right? But still be able to travel. So she can travel anywhere she wants as long as she has internet. And I don't know any place on the world in the world that doesn't have internet at this point. And work wherever she is. So those are my reasons why I want you to know you're never too old to start a virtual expert business. If you want to learn more about how to become a virtual expert, I invite you to apply for a breakthrough session. It's free if your application is accepted. It's free to apply. So you're not gonna lose anything by applying. And when you're accepted and you schedule your breakthrough session, you're gonna speak with one of our breakthrough specialists who is a graduate of our virtual expert training program. They can help you determine if becoming a virtual expert is right for you. And they'll also assess to see if you are ready to become a virtual expert. And if they determine that you are, then you'll be invited into our program. So until next time, it's Kathy Guggenauer wishing you a fabulous day.